Hi guys, it's your boy, the Supreme Leader. I'm back again with you guys. And like I said, I'm going to make sure I answer all your questions each and every single time I have some free time. Yes. So this is the second video for today, okay? I don't like doing long videos, but rather giving you the best content. This video you are watching is a 360 video. It's not like any other ordinary video, okay? It's not like what any other ordinary video you see on YouTube, okay? So, the reason why it is 360 video is that you are able to watch each and every single, uh, what do you call it? Each and every single side of the video. You can watch all angles. You understand you can watch all angles of the video by only um, by only turning your, uh, your your cell phone around like I said all you need to do if you don't know how to do it you hold your cell phone like this and then you turn it around like this then you can watch any angle that you want okay because it is a 360 video guys 360 video you don't get it anywhere YouTubers, most YouTubers don't have this kind of camera. So we are taking YouTube to a different level where you can watch any angle. That is the train that I just used. What you have to do is do what? Just hold your phone like this and then turn it around. You understand? Once you are turning your phone around like this, it will allow you to see all angles that you want to see in this video. Okay, so uh, I simply want to answer this question. This question that people normally uh, 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 ask me. Uh, people ask me why I left Africa. And people also uh, ask me why do some people say Africa is simply the best place to live? And why do I think Africa it's not good to live to as well. Guys, uh, I have been living here for the past few years, okay? Let me just say a decade and a half. I've been living here in Brazil, and uh, I always admire the fact of getting everything here in Brazil. I don't have to hustle so much for any happiness or any type of thing that will simply give, uh, bring you joy, okay? But I left Africa for so many reasons. For so many reasons I left Africa. And I relocated to Brazil. And today I will say my life is just fantastic. Even though uh, each and every single time we chase the dream of becoming bigger people or bigger person. But I will say for now, I am okay. And depending on, on your understanding of uh, what do you call it, depending on your understanding of, uh, of life or luxury, because each and every single one of us, we have how and what we see when we talk about luxury we have our own definition of luxury and lifestyle we have our definition of peaceful life and and all that my definition of peaceful life won't be the same as yours okay and your definition of peaceful life to won't be the same like mine that is one thing you have to simply understand you understand Okay, so, uh, for somebody, living in Africa is considered a luxury because maybe for him there are some things that are simply not relevant for him. You understand? There are some things that are simply not relevant for him. But someone like me, there are many things that are very relevant for me. I won't tell you lie. There are many things that I'll consider 
to be relevant to me and these things that are relevant to me might not be relevant to you because you have the way you see things you understand what i'm saying and myself i have things i also see, see things uh, one of the reasons okay one of the biggest reason why i decided i'm no more going back to africa after getting uh, uh, after getting to leave Africa was that uh, you know each and every single time we are growing regardless of your financial status regardless of how many children you have regardless of how big your family is you have to remember that we are growing and the reason why I say this is uh, here, here in Brazil, okay, here in Brazil, regardless of all these things, okay, regardless of uh, your financial status, regardless of how big your family is, regardless of how, how many kids you have, regardless of the type of investment you have, you still won't have to worry with old age you understand you won't still have you don't have to worry about old age if you live here in brazil you understand what i'm saying yes because living here in brazil there are many things that are simply uh, you don't have to you don't have to worry so much to get those things. You understand? Even if you are poor, even if you are not healthy enough to go to work, even if you cannot afford some certain things, there are many, there are many things. Sorry guys, I have to clean the lens. There are many things I can tell you about Brazil there are many things I can tell you about Brazil that in Africa specifically in Ghana or West Africa where I come from you don't have it and like I said your definition of luxury and your definition of peacefulness won't be the same as mine you understand what I'm saying your definition of what? Luxury and peacefulness won't be as equal to what I define as peacefulness and happiness and luxury. You understand? So, um, the point I'm trying to make out here is where I come from in West Africa, okay? I come, I come from West Africa, specifically I come from Ghana, which uh, it is simply a very unstructured country. Yes, Ghana is very, very unstructured. Ghana is not developed. Ghana, you know, like basically Ghana has a lot of problems, you understand? And those problems, it's not only in Ghana, but in West Africa itself. We have a lot of these problems in West Africa. And those problems, they don't fix it, but those problems continue to get worse. You understand? Those problems continue to work, to get worse. Instead of fixing it, they don't fix it, it, be, it continue to, to become worse. So, um, someone like me, there is nothing I can do, even if I say I'm patriotic, if I say I'm Pan-African, there is nothing I can do. So I left, I left Africa, specifically Ghana, to Brazil, and these are some of the things I'll tell you, that 
you would like to hear about Africa, okay? Specifically West Africa. This is going to be some of the things that I will tell you that you might not like to know about West Africa or Africa itself. In most of our African country, we don't have government hospitals. We don't have what? We don't have government hospitals. You know, for you to choose a place where to retire, for you to choose a place where you, you want to have your peace of mind, you have to be able to choose a place where at least there is a, a, a system where the system might be concerned about your health. Because if you are not healthy or you are not fine, how can you enjoy your life? How can you have a peaceful life? You understand what I'm saying? So, the idea... Yes. So, the idea of me not leaving Africa is one of these. So, for you who are preparing to relocate to Africa, I think you have your ways. You have what you also define as peacefulness, what you also define as happiness, what you also define, define as luxury. Each one have their own of way of seeing things. So one of the things that I didn't like and one of the things that even made me not want to go back to Africa is the health healthcare system. We don't have free healthcare system like government healthcare system which if maybe you don't have money you can simply decide to use. You cannot. You cannot use it. Because it's not free. You understand what I'm saying? So, this is one big concern about living in West Africa or most African countries. We don't have free healthcare systems. And another thing is there are no stable electricity. Here in Brazil, we have a stable electricity here, which, you know, like you can, we can also consider it to be luxury to us. Well, I don't know if you don't consider electricity to be luxury. For me, it's also another thing. It's a luxury. And the most important of all is what? is water water for me it's very very windy guys <laughs> it's very very windy but i'm trying to do this video for you guys anyway so i'm walk i'm walking back home instead of me uh, picking an uber i'm <laughs> i'm walking back home so the mo one of the most important thing of all is what? Is water. In Ghana, or in West, most West African countries, we don't have water. I'm telling you, we don't have running water. We don't have it. What we call running water, we don't have it. We don't have taps which have flow, flowing waters. And we have a lot of corrupt people in Africa, a lot of corrupt people, individuals. Forget about the, polit the uh, politicians. I'm talking about individuals. We have a lot of corrupt people. And also another worst thing about Africa, most African countries is we don't have stable, prices for for things you understand you can go to a place where it's one dollar and then tomorrow when you go there that same place you go and buy the same thing that you bought for one dollar yesterday is five dollars 
So there are a lot of things that I can list for you guys. It's just that I don't like doing long videos, okay? Don't forget this video is a 360 video. You can turn your camera to any angle and then watch any angle of the video that you do by turning your, your phone around. Yeah, it's very windy. I'm sorry, I'm, I didn't uh, come up with my microphone. So this is the audio that we're going to have for, for today. You have to be very, you know, like pay attention attentively before you can understand what I'm saying because there is so much wind here. So guys, it is a 360 video, 360 video like I said. Don't forget to support the school leader. Share the channel, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for always coming back to watch my video. Because this channel is the only channel you can get to watch a 350, 360 video. You understand? This is the only channel you can watch any angle of the video without watching what I want to show you. So you can check for yourself if Brazil is not going to leave, you can check for yourself. I'm not editing anything. I'm only giving you the right, the right video. So guys, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. But click the bell button for me and give the video some thumb up just to support the channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye bye.